Hello everyone, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As you know, it's constantly a work in progress here on the channel. Uh, in this episode, video, whatever we call it, uh, we'll be trying new things. So without further ado, our newest review, the Lego Loop Coaster. Hello everybody, so today uh, we're going to be trying something a little bit different. Uh, normally we'll do like a review of a set and we'll go and we'll have like the graphics and we'll do it all upstairs uh, in the computer room. But I kind of figured, you know, you don't actually get to see the sets themselves. So today we're actually going to be going next to the set, pointing out details and uh, let me know if you like the new format, you prefer the old format, put it in the comments and uh, just let me know how you feel about it. Hello y'all. Don't, don't stand on, don't stand on the ladder. Okay, should I do it like, like, should I point? What do you think? Oh, you can't see it? Hey y'all. No. So this is the loop coaster. A set we will be reviewing Lego set 10303 Lego Loop Coaster. All right, so this set here is $399 US. Uh, it debuted in 2022, and as you can see, it is part of the Fairgrounds collection. I don't, that's not part of Lego. Anyway, uh, so it uh, has 11 minifigs, which you have Elvis Guy, you've got uh, Blue Hair Lady, uh, you've got another one there, you've got three in there, four, five, and those are people waiting in the queue. You've got another random person who's a little bit scared to go on the flute coaster. You've got, uh, I lost count, but anyway, we've got the hot dog vendor selling uh, hot dog wieners and buns, ketchup, mustard, right in there. Uh, then you've got a customer wanting to purchase those items. Oh, it won't fall over. And then, so we got that. Uh, then you've got the, actually I think I have that backwards because the graphic is supposed to be on the front. There we go. So, comes with the graphic there, hot dogs. You've got a balloon salesman there, and a lonely, lonely pretzel. So, that is all the minifigs. I think I got them all. As you can tell, it is a tall, tall, tall drink of water. Three foot tall. That's uh, American for uh, meters. I, I don't really know what it is in meters. And it's uh, 33.5 inches wide. And as you can tell, it has a also a height meter. So you gotta be this tall to ride it, uh, to ride this ride. Uh, it can be, so how it works is, uh, you can put in this here. Hopefully it's not gonna screw up. You can do it manually by turning it, like so. It's gonna move eventually, I promise you. There it goes. And actually, you know what? Let's do it from afar. How does that look? That way you can see it in its majesty and all of its things. And you can watch me turn the knob. So you could do it manually, wrong way, like this. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna come up here, go around, go up the loop, around the loop, a second loop. That's two loops through there and then reset for the next one. So let's see if we can get it to work on the first try. Bada bing, bada boom. It didn't go all the way through, that's fine. So then once you keep tranking it, it falls, automatic feed. So when you do it like that, we're gonna try it one more time with the manual, and then we'll try it with the battery. And there it is. Oh, okay, I see what that does. Okay, so that's with the manual. 
And now we are going to hook up. What is it? Hook up that. As you can see here, let me show you the innards of the actual how it looks. So it's a whole contraption there. This here, maybe the innards. Let's see if this works. Hold on, let me let me hook it up. Hold on. We've got it working. All right, so edit that part out. So then we turn it on. Then you can go to automatic. And then. And then you just wait. That is the, I don't know why it makes that noise. So then, there, automatic, boom shakalaka. So while it is an impressive set, it is definitely tall for $3.99. Me personally, I prefer the other roller coasters or the actual detail of the haunted house. It's, uh, it's an impressive, because uh, of its height, uh, it just doesn't seem, for $399, it should have more to it. All in all, a decent set, I would give it a 5 out of 10, as where you're like your roller coaster, your haunted mansion, uh, those are much higher on the scale. Pretty good set, uh, just wouldn't recommend for the money. So, I've noticed a lot of people on YouTube, they kind of close out their videos with custom quotes. Uh, when they sign off, uh, we too will start be doing that. Uh, so, thanks for watching the Ward Channel. We'll see you next time. And until then, cash me outside. How about that?